The story of innovation is often told through grand machines, gleaming factories, and celebrated inventors whose names echo throughout textbooks. Yet history is full of quieter minds, men and women, whose genius reshaped the world without receiving the light they deserved. Among these overlooked figures stand a black engineer whose creativity and determination influenced something so common that nearly every modern vehicle depends on it. His name was Richard Bowie Spikes, and his invention of the automatic gear system transformed driving forever. To understand his achievement, one must step into a time when the automobile itself was still new, when the roadways rattled with crude machines that demanded strength, precision, and experience just to operate. Into that world walked a man whose brilliance insisted that driving could be easier, safer, and accessible to everyone, not just train mechanics. The early 20th century was a time of expanding horizons. Cities swelled. New industries thrived. And automobiles, once luxury curiosities, were beginning to shape the rhythm of modern life. Yet behind the wheel, chaos often reigned. Changing gears required a delicate dance of timing, clutch manipulation, and strength. For everyday people, especially new drivers, it was intimidating. Cars stalled, engines were overloaded, and accidents were common. Engineers searched for solutions, but it was Spikes who approached the problem from a completely different angle. Where others saw mechanical frustration, he saw the opportunity to redesign not only the gear shift but the entire experience of operating a vehicle. Born in 1878 to a family of inventive thinkers, Richard Spikes grew up observing craftsmanship in his father's workshop and learning the value of innovation early in life. The world he inherited offered little support for a black engineer. Higher education, Industry positions and patent recognition were all guarded by racial barriers. But Spikes, like many early black innovators, refused to be limited by the constraints of his era. He became a self-taught mechanical expert, experimenting with machines, improving existing tools, and filing patents throughout his life. Each invention arose from a desire to solve everyday problems. His mind operated with a kind of gentle but persistent logic. If something could work better, then it should. Before he ever touched the automatic gear system, Spikes created a variety of mechanical devices. He developed improved barber clippers, enhancements for trolley car systems, and safety modifications for railroad switching equipment. Each new idea sharpened his engineering intuition and showed industrial manufacturers that he possessed a rare gift. But the automobile, still evolving, still unreliable, presented a challenge different from anything he had handled before. As cars became more popular in the 1920s and 1930s, the limitations of manual gear operation were becoming too obvious to ignore. Drivers struggled. Engines suffered. Mechanics were overwhelmed. Spikes recognized that the issue was not the vehicle itself, but the way humans interacted with it. The gear system needed to evolve, and he was the one prepared to do it. In 1932, Richard Spikes completed and patented his concept for the first automatic gear shift system. The timing was extraordinary. No major manufacturer had yet perfected a fully automated transmission, and the idea of simplifying gear changes was still considered experimental. Yet Spikes' design placed him at the forefront of innovation. His system was built around the principle that the vehicle itself could sense when to shift, rather than relying on the driver to manually do so. His patent described a mechanism that allowed gears to transition as smoothly and automatically, removing the jerky movements and precise coordination that had previously been required. Imagine the difference it made. Prior to Spike's work, driving was a chore filled with grinding noises, sudden stalls, and worn-out clutches. But with an automatic shift system, the engine could move through gears in a fluid motion. It allowed drivers to keep both hands on the wheel, improving safety. It opened the possibility of driving to people who had long been excluded by the technical difficulty of manual transmission. And perhaps most importantly, it laid the foundational principles for the hydraulic and electronic automatic transmissions that developers would later refine. Though his invention was groundbreaking, Spikes did not work as part of a wealthy research department or university. He was an independent inventor, 
navigating a world that often refused to credit black innovators equally. His designs were frequently purchased by major companies, patented under his name, but rarely publicized. As a result, the average driver never heard of him, even as his ideas found their way into the evolution of automotive engineering. Automatic transmissions became a cornerstone of modern transportation, altering the way millions around the globe experience mobility. Yet the name Richard Spikes echoed nowhere in most mainstream histories. Despite this, Spikes never stopped creating. His mind continued reaching for improvements long after many others would have retired. As the decades passed, he developed a beer tap system that kept beverages fresher for longer, a design still in use today. He proposed new brake safety mechanisms, demonstrating his lifelong commitment to improving human safety and convenience. In the 1950s, even as his eyesight deteriorated, he persisted through the challenges, working with assistants and continuing to refine his mechanical insights. His perseverance was a profound statement. In a society deeply marked by segregation and discrimination, Spikes expressed his defiance not through protest speeches but through creation. Each patent symbolized a victory over systemic limitations, proof that brilliance could not be contained by prejudice. His life reflected a truth that history often ignores. Black engineers have always contributed to the world's progress, even when denied recognition. To appreciate the significance of Spike's innovation, one must imagine the world without it. Consider the millions of vehicles that rely on automatic transmissions today. Think of the elderly drivers who can navigate the roads without mastering clutch timing. Think of commuters, delivery workers, and travelers who rely on smooth, effortless driving. Think of the global automobile industry, which gained billions in revenue from technologies rooted in Spike's ideas. His work touched nearly every continent, every roadway, every household with a car in the driveway. Though invisibly woven into modern life, his contribution shaped an entire century of transportation. Spike's automatic gear system helped democratize the automobile, making it more accessible and appealing to the masses. The car became not just a machine for experts or the wealthy, but a universal symbol of freedom. With the stress of gear changing lifted, driving grew easier and safer. Families drove farther. Cities expanded outward. Road trips became part of cultural identity. And behind this transformation stood the brilliance of a black engineer whose name most people still do not know. His story forces us to reconsider what it means to invent. Innovation is not simply about complex laboratories or corporate recognition. It often emerges from the quiet determination of individuals whose curiosity drives them to reshape the world. Richard Spikes exemplifies this tradition. His life reminds us that overlooked figures often hold the keys to major technological revolutions. Even now, scholars continue to revisit his patents, piecing together the impact he left behind. What they reveal is a legacy of ingenuity and resilience. His automatic gear system was not a minor adjustment. It was a reimagining of how humans and machines interact. It set the stage for the fully automatic transmissions introduced later by major automotive companies in the 1940s and beyond. These later systems expanded upon the foundations he had laid, integrating hydraulic pressure, torque converters, and eventually computer-controlled shifting. In many ways, Richard Spikes wrote the first chapter of a technological story that the world is still writing today. As we move deeper into an era of electric and autonomous vehicles, the historical thread connecting modern innovations to earlier breakthroughs becomes even clearer. Every effortless shift, every smooth acceleration on a highway, contains a shadow of Spike's early designs. His work forms part of the structure upon which contemporary engineering stands. Though many vehicles today no longer rely on traditional gears in the same way, the concept of automation, machines thinking for themselves to improve human experience, remains central. Spikes was one of the earliest architects of that idea within the world of transportation. It is a tragedy of history that his name faded from the mainstream narrative. Yet rediscovering his story allows us to restore him to the place he deserves, among the great innovators of the modern age. 
The world remembers Ford for mass production, Daimler for engine design, and Benz for the earliest automobiles. But the world that emerged from their machines, the world of accessible, user-friendly driving, belongs just as much to Richard Spikes. His mind smoothed the road for millions, even if the road did not always smooth itself for him. In looking back upon his life, we are offered a reminder about the cost of overlooked genius. How many innovations were sparked by mind society dismissed? How many technologies were shaped by people whose contributions remain buried by prejudice? Spike stands as a symbol of both remarkable achievement and the injustice of historical invisibility. Honoring him is not only an act of remembrance, but also an act of correction. Richard Bowie Spikes passed away in 1962, leaving behind a legacy encoded in patents, mechanical designs, and innovations that live inside the machines we use every day. His story invites us to imagine a world where his name was celebrated, his achievements taught widely, his genius publicly honored. But even without that recognition, the impact of his work remains alive. Anyone who has ever driven across a city, across a state, or across a continent without worrying about shifting gears has experienced his gift. Spike's life teaches us that brilliance can emerge from unexpected places, and that innovation thrives wherever imagination meets determination. Through his automatic gear system, he reshaped the relationship between humans and machines. Through his persistence, he challenged the boundaries that society placed around him. And through his legacy, he continues to inspire those who believe that history must be rewritten to include all of those who helped build it.